Good afternoon, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine, continue with the historical figures. Today I'm going to, uh, I have a talk about the Trination, general introduction of Trination period. There's the Southwest, uh, Southeast, and the middle of, uh, of the nation. So three of uh, three of these nations start uh, uh, the ballots. No, no one can uh, take over the others until later. And the, the first generation of those uh, founding um, people passed away. The second generation start to uh, fight again, and uh, some of them getting stronger, some of them getting weaker, and uh, eventually emerged and united in one nation, the Jin Dynasty. So today I'm going to talk about the one of the branch from the southwest, Bei Liu. Um, he and his important uh, military commanders and uh, uh, political advisors. A political advisor. So I start from how did he, who is he, who is he, Bei Liu, uh, who is he and how did he start and uh, there, there's so many historical uh, legends about him and his two uh, friends, like military leaders, eventually uh, at, uh, at his side, uh, fight it, uh, fought until last minute of their life. So. Um, this Bei Liu, like I said, he was descendant from the Emperor of Jin, uh, the, the Prosperity State, uh, the Prosperity Emperor. During his time, he, uh, Jin and uh, Wen and Wu, three emperors, the, the peak time of the Han Dynasty. So he was the descendant of that uh, uh, emperor, but just uh, in that southwest area, eventually, uh, because of so many wars and uh, so far from the, the center of the country, and they just uh, became um, uh, poor people. So he sold some artwork from the straw, making the pad or the hat. I, in that uh, street, a lot of small businesses, small sellers. And there are that, another two along with his uh, uh, selling business. They sell, they sell different things. One is yu guan. Yu means the feather, um, but it's, uh, um, it's very common first name during night time, probably. Um, but guan is uh, uh, yun chang, is, is the, the real name for him. He was also selling some, probably some greens. Um, and there's another seller, it's the, the richest of these three, the Fei Zhang, last name is Zhang, first name is Fei. He, he was a butcher, of course that's the richest. Uh, I think his family uh, kind of rich and he, um, one, three of them talked to each other, uh, decided to, you, uh, to become brothers. They have the ceremony and uh, uh, become, became brothers. Uh, saying even though we're not born at the same time but we are we we willing we are willing to die at the same day so which means it's it's tightly bound relationship uh, so uh, the three decided to uh, to fight because that's so chaotic the country the nation was so chaotic so they uh, especially they know he was the descendant of the emperor so they three of three of them start to fight but uh, it's not that easy because they did not have a lot of uh, um, financial, financially, Fei Zhang was provide, provide them and other rich families. But they do not have a lot of army. They need to borrow them. The most difficult challenge they have to face is uh, no uh, real leader, no, nobody know how to fight, how to uh, use the military strategy. So this brought a, uh, a another figure called Zhuge I mentioned. Zhuge is a local famous uh, uh, philosopher or knowing, basically a, a, an erudite scholar, knowing the heaven, the earth, the season, the Taoism, Do and also built a, a beautiful village, um, married a rich family, and uh, his wife and his father-in-law are very famous also. So this Bei Liu, after uh, the starting of a fight to try to gain the ground, did not gain anything. Really, um, every time the, the, the fight turns out to uh, flee. So that's how he started. And each time he felt so sad, he just felt like a, Guan and Zhang, they're very brave, they're very strong. They know how to fight, they know how to lead, but they do not know the military strategy. So that's why they couldn't gain any ground, just keep fleeing from one place to another place, borrowing uh, 
one army from uh, you know today's one uh, group like here tomorrow is the other place so just wandering around until he uh, they met this person called Jugo. He is uh, he is wise. He had re uh, read about the military strategies, uh, the old fashioned. You probably all know the book, and also he read so many books, so he know the the uh, current that time, uh, the political environment, the forces for each nation, and also know the like I said the um, the weather, the heaven or the earth, and uh, so basically. He was like a, a semi god, almost, um, uh, almost like a nobody, no person can do what he did. Anyway, so this Liu um, Bei so uh, talked to him. He he said um, the good bird choose the good tree to build nest, and of course, excellent uh, politician or servant will choose the master to serve. So now I'm going to serve you. So and uh, the chat was very uh, successful. Actually, they like each other. I think uh, Bei thinks what uh, Zhuge recommended is perfect. So they start to follow uh, Zhuge's advice. It really uh, uh, from winning to winning to winning to winning, keep winning the war. So that's where that's how they started. And later on, these three people uh, with another person, Zhao, uh, also kind of a bond to them as another brother. So four of them really start this uh, start fight uh, to establish a small, probably small land and then expand it. But there's some unique nature of each individual. Bay, like I said, Bay is a very white um, minded person. He's, uh, he uh, high, kind of hide his emotion very deeply unless he crying a lot but he never lose temper uh, pretty very mild and also um he's uh, he has the the descendant blood from the royal so that's why a lot of people like to fight with him because he's the uh, I, the the right name to fight and the right person to to serve because he has a good uh, reputation in that area and uh, Guan, Guan is like I said, uh, nowadays still a lot of people, especially in old, uh, old time, uh, people just worship him, had a name, um, you know, at the, at the wall to worship him as a semi-god. Since this person, he, he, does, he is very loyal to his master, to his brother, Bei. And uh, there's a story when he uh, was captured by Cao. Cao was trying to bribe him. Uh, ask him to stay to serve Tao, but he reject everything. He said, "I have to serve my brother Bei. So uh, I would just uh, appreciate you keep me here with. I'm just uh, uh, live under your shelf. But when I know the news, know where my brother is, I'm going to follow him. So this is uh, this uh, event won him a very good reputation, and everybody worship him." But eventually he died. He died uh, because of the other country. And the other country uh, official, I think, killed him and then uh, brought the downfall of that country also because this Guan was so very well known, so very well respected. People just hate those the other country who, uh, the other uh, general who killed Guan. So this uh, brought that country downfall. So anyway, and Zhang, um, Zhang the third one, Fei Zhang is very um, straightforward, uh, hot temper, but uh, uh, kind of from rich person, rich family, so uh, sponsor, and also is a good, uh, good fighter, very bravely, uh, very strong. So, um, and also he was killed by his soldier because he drank and lost temper, and uh, um, tortured the the soldier, and the soldier eventually. When he was drunk, killed him. So this, th those are uh, many, many years after the nation of Southwest established. But anyway, so this is uh, the other person. Regarding regarding to this Zhang, everybody knows he's just uh, very hot tempered, um, and not uh, not uh, yield to anything. So this, and um, Zhuge, Zhuge is very like an erudite scholar in local area, a very cunning. Uh, in, in today's world is a true politician 
uh, very well rounded and uh, never um, never had any blames so always has to be perfect this kind of person so he was he lead, he led the army to to fight and uh, a lot of strategies and very talkative uh, debating skills very high to talk to uh, to pursue other nation to uh, together uh, to fight it all so this is about uh, uh, three important uh, four important historical figures each of them has a unique nature um, and that a, a good combination so that's why from zero uh, at the ground when the nation uh, even though it's small but still it's a it's a, a great achievement especially during that time there's so many forces so many rebellion forces everybody tried to gain ground even some people started much stronger than them but did not gain the ground um, they did so that's must uh, something really special about them so i'm going to stop here for today tomorrow i'm going to continue with other two nations and uh, uh, important people uh, historical figures so thank you for watching uh, not, again i hope the story or the wisdom uh, uh, can give you some idea but i the true wisdom is from yourself to read and also to read in between the lines and to um, uh, anal analyze the, the truth behind the, the story i uh, thank you for watching i will see you next time